Hello and welcome back. My name is Tad Kulakevich and today we're going to be reviewing plugins made by the Figma community. Now, as most of you might know, Figma allows you to create custom plugins which you can plug into your files, which help you achieve certain tasks and things. So today I just want to kick off this little series and review my favorite plugins, the ones I think work the best, give you my feedback and show you what you can do with them. So the first one that I want to have a look at today is Skewdat. Now Skewdat is created by my good friends at Unfold. And as the name would suggest, this plugin is used to skew objects, skew things, skew text, skew images, whatever you'd like. Um, as you know, in uh, Figma, to skew things, you need to go and edit the actual vectors, like open up the vector points, drag them around. Um, that's one way you would achieve this. Other way is by using this plugin. So the guys created this plugin that just really simplifies and speeds up the process. Um, here's what the, the plugin looks like when it's up and running. So you can see it's like this little floating window. You can adjust the skew horizontally um, and vertically right here. And then you click apply and it applies that skew. Over here you can see things that I've created with this plugin. So we have this Google Analytics dashboard, a Google Data Studio dashboard, a Google Sheets dashboard, and a Microsoft Excel dashboard. Now the thing that I do with this is put it at angle, extrude objects, and just give it this kind of extra depth. Um, and you can see this, these bezels I created with this plugin. Uh, I kind of made these logo look like they're 3D at an angle with this plugin. Um, and my goal today is just to show you how to use this plugin and create some graphic like this. To demonstrate this plugin, what I want to do is take this pricing uh, tier breakdown before us and add the skew effect to it, give it a little bit of depth, making it more interesting for social media posts. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a duplicate of this just so we can have a reference of the before and after. And on this new one here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ditch the shadow. Um, I think I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to go up to uh, plugins right here. And I'm going to run skew that. So now that I have my little skew window floating here, I'll try to get out of the way. Um, as you can see, if I start moving things, everything starts moving all together. So that's like super cool right away. I mean, look at that. We've already added this super sick skew effect. Like we can stack these up and we can ship it. But we're gonna take it a little further and add a little bit of depth like I talked about and pop off some of these logos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reset the, the skew here. And typically when I apply this effect, I like it to look towards the right side. I don't know why it just makes sense to me unless I'm working on a website and we have copy on the left then I'll angle it towards the copy. So it depends on which side the copy sits, but for this purpose, I'm gonna uh, place it facing the right side. I think maybe it's because we read left to right, so it's easier that way. Um, so let's add this angle here. Let me reset this. So I'm gonna add this angle, and I think that's about enough. I'm gonna make this background a little darker just so we see what's going on here. So now that I like this uh, amount of skew here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this object here. And I'm gonna make it a little bit darker than, let's put it right there. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker than this white card just so you can see the shadow kind of behind it. And now once we basically decide how angled we want this back line to be, we have to replicate this for all the assets just so that everything has the same kind of level of curve or things are gonna start looking wacky. So what I do is I look at the thickness be, uh, between this card and then the, th the thickness here vertically and match it. Now that they look about right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten the back piece, I'm gonna flatten the front piece, and now, super innovative here, we're going to combine the two by drawing a shape. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm gonna replicate that. And there you have it. We have a back piece that quickly. So what I'm gonna do is cheat a little here. Um, before I do that, I typically like to add a linear gradient to the back of the card. It just gives it a little bit more depth going from the top to bottom. So we can make the top lighter and then we can make the, the bottom a little bit darker. That way it has that nice transition as it's going down. So let's just line this up quickly. And one more time. 
And now what I'm gonna do is do the same thing for the actual logos here. Um, and as I mentioned before, our goal is to make sure that these things are, these angles are uh, going the same kind of angle to keep that consistency. So what I'm gonna do is set up this guide really quickly. So just take a red, just take this object, scale it up. And this will be our reference point for the angle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this circle object, copy it, and then I'm going to place it down here on the same angle. Boom. And now we're going to do the same process. So I'm just going to skip through it, just drawing these. So although we did it on the right angle, it looks a little weird because it's so thick as thick as the card. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just make this a little bit uh, thinner. We don't need it that thick. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, now what I want to do is just to add that de depth effect. I want to add a drop shadow. So let's add a nice soft gradient to that, maybe 50 pixels. And we want to make sure that we add uh, the Y and X axis just just to um, make it look like it's falling back on the card. And a little trick is don't use uh, black gradients, use off color gradients. So for example, if I'm using uh, this bluish color, what I'm gonna do is color pick that and then make it dark. That way that uh, drop shadow blends nicer. So there you go, we have one. And now we basically do the same thing for the others. So what I'm gonna do is just copy this. So I don't have to rebuild it each time. Uh, we're gonna replace this object here. And I think we're gonna add that uh, linear gradient just to, just so you can see the, the object separation there. So that's one, two. Now we're gonna change the drop uh, drop shadow here. And then let's do it one more time. Alrighty, now that we have this depth and these things popping off, um, I think it'll look a little weird if there's just these objects and nothing else. So what I want to do is maybe add a little bit of uh, floating effect to this button here. Alrighty, so I basically just applied the same kind of skewed effect to the button. I like the way it pops out, it kind of covers this, covers this uh, reinforcing that depth effect. Now, I think these are still a little too thick, so I'm gonna scale them down a little bit. And I think this is looking better, but let me see if I can mess around with that a little bit more. Maybe make these logos a little bit bigger so they stick off, off the top of the card. Um, just reinforcing more of that overlay effect. And there we have it. I've taken the simple front facing design up here where it's pretty standard. You just have three cards facing you and I've added this skewed effect. We've given it this 3D look. We've made it visually more interesting and captivating. Um, and that's really the power of this skewed app plugin. It allows you to make these really interesting illustrations, these graphics, 
uh, really quickly and efficiently. So it's a really great plugin, really easy to use. I definitely recommend you downloading it, playing around with it, see what you can create and come up with. And let me know in the comments what other plugins you want me to review. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. And there we have it, just like that. I've took, uh, and then we.